Hey everyone, in this video here I want to show you how to delete your WordPress blog. Now, every time I get asked this question um, from clients, I always find, uh, often I find out that they actually just want to take their website offline and not actually destroy the files just in case they want to go back to them later. So really to do that, all that really needs to be done is you can modify the name servers for the actual domain. And my domain is hosted with Namecheap, so this is the Namecheap control panel. It might look different for your domain your domain might actually be hosted with the same company you host your website with for example and you might have different options um, here like GoDaddy I think offers the ability to sell your website and you just have to make that change in your name server settings so what you can do is rather than like change currently your name servers will be pointing to the host the website host that hosts your website now you can just modify the name server so that they point somewhere else you can use like something like park domains or the in this case in this case I would just use the name server names cheap hosting DNS servers and that will essentially stop it from pointing to um, hostgator which it was currently pointing to and see it's currently pointing to hostgator so if I if I modify it and point it here it'll essentially it'll take my website offline so anytime somebody visits highrawhighvegan.com they won't actually be able to see the website and that will remove it from the internet so that might be all that's necessary if um, you may not need to actually delete the, the blog but if you do I'll go through those steps as well so this would be the first step just change the name servers point somewhere else and that'll remove your blog from the from the public so just click on save changes for that now as far as deleting the site, um, the first thing I would do, head over to cPanel and we can delete the database. Now, you may not be aware of actually what the database name is, so the best way to, f to do that is to first of all locate the files in, in the file manager and open up your wp-config.php file and the name of the database and the database user will reside in that file so you can know what you need to delete um, so to do that let's go over to MySQL databases I already know the name of the database I want to delete so I'm going to do that now scroll down to current databases and the one I want to delete is this one here so I could see that this is the user that's attached to it. So I'm going to want to delete that user too. And then I could just do a quick scan to make sure that user is not being used on other databases. Because one user can actually belong to multiple databases. And if that's the case, um, deleting that user can actually bring down another website. So I just want to be careful with that. So I'm going to delete this database. Then I'm going to confirm the deletion at the top here. Okay, and I'm going to go back and then scroll down to the bottom to list the users that I want to work with here. And then I'm going to delete this user because that's the user associated to, for that particular WordPress website that I want to delete. So I'm going to click that and then click on delete user. And then I'm going to go back to the home at the top left here. Now I just have to delete the website files. I'm going to use the file manager because it's a lot quicker to do that. But first, I'm going to, there's an internal mapping that takes place for a domain to point it to a folder on the web server. And the particular domain I'm working with right now is an add-on domain. It's not the main domain attached to my hosting account. So I'm going to actually click on add-on domains just so I can determine the location of the files on the server. So the domain I want to delete I mean the website I want to delete is highrawhighvegan.com so here I can find the path to that so it's public underscore html highrawhighvegan.com so that's the name of the folder that holds the website files um, for this right inside public underscore html so while I'm in here I'm actually going to remove this mapping so I'm going to click on remove and this will make it so that the, I, the FTP is going to be inaccessible for this particular domain unless I log in through my main account. But that's okay. So I'm going to click on home and I'm going to use file manager to delete the file. So it's a lot faster anyway than FTP when deleting. So I'm going to click on file manager. It's going to open up in a new directory. 
and based on the path that I saw in the add-on domain section that's what I'm going to be looking for here so it depends on the domain most of my sites are in this folder here I just have to double click that but the one I actually want to delete is right here so I just have to click on it and then click on delete and this is going to delete all the WordPress files that are located in here this is where they all are so I'll go back and then click on delete delete files and that's it done now the WordPress site is gone so I moved the name servers I pointed them to default name servers and I deleted the database and the user associated with the database and then finally I deleted all the files for the WordPress installation so the so nothing's left orphaned everything's cleaned up off the server and the domain is ready for use for for another use or for sale or for whatever whatever the case may be and that's all there is to it thanks for watching and have a great day